Bonjour everyone, I'm Marlous, a Dutch business owner, and I moved to Burgundy in France in 2019 with my family. And on my channel, I share our slow and simple life here in the French countryside. I talk about brocante, cooking, beautiful places to visit in our region and other parts of France. And every now and then, I do a home tour in which I take you to a gorgeous French house. And I'm happy to share another one of those beautiful houses with you in this video. Holy cow! <laughs> Welcome to the cozy little cottage in the hills of Burgundy that my friends Kate and Nathan, originally from Australia, bought off the internet, unseen, about three years ago. Then the pandemic hit and they weren't able to come see the house they had just bought in real life. They had to wait for two years before they could fly to France and discover what it actually was that they bought. Fortunately, when they saw the house in real life, it was perfect. It was everything that they had hoped for. spent the past 18 months during their many visits to France on turning this cottage into their dream cottage, painting the walls, doing all kinds of renovation works, and decorating the house with their many, many gorgeous finds that they find in the many vide greniers that they visit. And I believe Kate has such a good eye for finding the most beautiful items and especially combining them in their home. And because Nathan is a chef, their entire home is centered around the kitchen. So you could not make me any happier than filming a house like this. And I'm happy to take you with me on a little tour. Did you give it a name? Bambi. Bambi? Bambi. Bambi. Oh, <laughs> sure. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Talking about the fête du cochon. Fête du cochon. Okay, so um, big party, uh, lots of dancing, lots of uh, debauchery. That was 
but <laughs> so that was with the whole village celebrating yeah. the the Good. pig. The pig. Um, there's bowling games, there's games for kids, there's DJ, band, lots of good food, music. There were 240 people. Wow. It was so much nice. fun. Nice. It was so much fun. I've never danced so much in my life. <laughs> now, can we drink a coffee? Um, no, I'm okay. You sure? Thank you. Okay. Do you have a cup of tea, baby? Um, What I love about this cottage is that it's so authentic. It's an all en pierre, so made of stone cottage. They simply plaster the walls. You still see the detailing around the door and it has the original doors and windows that probably need to be replaced at some point, but they are so gorgeous. And it has the original tiles on the floor, the tomet that you've heard me speak about more often. And I just think that this gives this cottage that really French cottage core touch that is hard to replicate. Kate and I both adore French dishware, so you can see she's built quite the collection in such a short time. You are a professional chef. Oh, yes. Which I've had the pleasure of confirming <laughs> to be true. Uh, yeah, it was really exciting. We, um, when we had the house, originally there was kind of this kitchen, but it, we like more of an open style. So everyone comes and sees that we have two kitchens. Which, that seems to be an Australian thing. Yeah, like you do have kind of a butler's pantry or so, but this is laundry, boot room, pantry. Um, but yeah, the, the best part was um, always wanted a La Conche and finding one second hand and then uh, with your help, a, a very good friend coming and bringing her back to life, as he said, you know, yeah. um, yes, but we're so, so happy and yeah. She gets used a lot. Yeah, this is where we spend a lot of time right around here <laughs> and here. The previous people had this set up as, did you say, the, the living room, the, the couch and the fire. But we kind of feel like we live around the dining room table. We play games, we eat, we sit in the middle of the room. So we like that. Yeah. So it's worked for us. Yeah, it makes sense when you like cooking to center everything around the yes. kitchen and heart, food. It's at the heart of the home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I we really, we actually love the couch and it's really comfortable. We just really, we really sit on it, I feel. Yeah. The odd nap. It is very, very comfy. Well, and you're always outside, of course. Yes. yes. We, we tend to live outside also. Um, we sit outside every night till it's dark. My friend here gave it to me. Ah, it's her friend. I think I... I look at this. It makes you want to go to start collecting scallop and oyster plates. And yeah, stuff you don't need. No, no, but then it's got... Um, In each one, there's a theme. And then table there's a, a recipe. 
for the theme. But look oh. at these table settings. It is spectacular. It is. And it's all brocante. Look at that. Oh, that looks like my, a table that could have been yours. My obsession with green, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we want, when we come here, we want to be part of their culture and we want to experience that. And, well, it, you know, it, really it, it's really it. special to be part of a village. And we're part of a village WhatsApp group. So, you know, if something's going on, someone's like, oh, you, the, the hardware store, will you pick up this? So, uh, we, so yeah. we often, on a Sunday, bring things back for the restaurant because it's oh, like, oh, yeah. I'm out of lettuce, can you pick up a couple? And then anything we need, we put on the WhatsApp group and they're like, yeah, 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 here's, here's, I've got a plumber that'll come right now. Or we're going to get a trailer and everyone in the village is going to put money in on a trailer and we can all use this trailer in the village. So like, it's really cool. So you've really found a very welcoming and yes. warm community so in lucky. your village. And I, yeah. I think it's, so, it's so lucky. I, I don't know if it's unique. I think we've been very open to it, but I do think we, the village that we're in, there's a lot of people that didn't grow up in this village and have moved here and created this kind of culture and friendship and support and yeah and uh, it's it's been openness really lovely. and we've been to nearly everyone's house in the village for dinner and we've had oh, everyone here goodness. for dinner we had i think 16 for dinner for the village uh at christmas time, at christmas yeah. time. and yeah it's, it's, fun. it's really wonderful it's good so you find it not extremely difficult to build a life here when you're not french because you didn't spoke, you didn't speak French. We when didn't. You came. No, just a just a little, but well, luckily um, in the chef's village. French. I think it helps yeah. being yeah. chef French. When French you're coming to Burgundy, yes. you say, "Oh, I'm a chef." Okay, we love you. Come cook for us. You're, so the house, you're you, not, you throw a dinner party and you yes. cook the dinner that you cooked. Everyone wanted to be our friend after that. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> um, but because um, there are English people speaking people uh, in the village. And they've been really helpful. Um, occasionally they say, okay, enough English, we're only going to speak French. Uh, but I think it's not necessary to speak French, but if you want to make really good friends, it really helps. Yeah. Yeah. We spent six months of the year here and six months in Australia. So we kind of realized it doesn't really matter where we live for our business and, and what we do, but we just, we like the lifestyle here. It's simple. It's, it's, yeah. it's quiet. It's peaceful. It's we've, friendly. We've, gorgeous friends here so we've made a life here as well and come see the bathroom I don't think much has changed since last time and yeah, you put Maybe in the doors the yeah the glass um, shower screen Thought it would work working here just fine too. Yeah. Not much nicer to me here. So this is where the guests can stay. Um, a lot of people have stayed already and say it's very comfortable, so we're I stayed here. here. I stayed oh, here. Yes. And I bought the same pillow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After that. So yeah. cozy. So it's, it's sweet. And Bob and Sue were in here. I just flipped them around. Oh, yeah. I knew I couldn't afford a, a Persian rug. Good Dutch stairs. Okay. Yeah, again, when they close the door, I or you or not, you hang it. That's 
Ikea. Is it? <laughs> like $5 at Ikea. <laughs> That's nice in the background. <laughs> That's my bedroom. But if you have that view of the forest lying in bed. Oh, it's the, the sunrise in the morning? Yeah. It streams in. That would be nice. Uh, and that's also a really nice, nice view, but we need new windows, new, win new uh, doors there. Desk, um, it's a bit big. Nathan can't get his legs under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. I haven't done a reveal on the bathroom yet, but I Oh, I love it. It makes such a difference. It's such a luxury. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any apples, do we? Uh, no, I don't think so. Poopy, come here. I'm looking for you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Where's your mate? There, he, there she is on the other side of the fence. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Poopy. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Look at Poopy. Look. <laughs> Running! <laughs> oh, we have to get them something, baby. Uh, I think I'll just give some apples. <gasps> Put uh, just straight through the electric fence. <laughs> oh, somebody's <laughs> excited to see us. Hello. Poopy's twenty. We're coming. Poopy's twenty, and Mean is one. Hi. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming with something. What do you have in your hair? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, you got flies, baby. Flies. Nathan's getting you a treat. Hang on. Hang on. Here, Mina. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I should put the footage in from when we were putting that bin <laughs> on. <laughs> and the difference now. Yeah. Actual garden. A vegetable garden. Yeah. Good. It needs to be harvested, actually. So yeah, none of this was here, I don't think, when you were here last. You and I did Well we put bin. that we put the compost <laughs> bin up. <laughs> That's had an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we cleared some more and clean the boxes and the chalet. Need to harvest some tomatoes. Yeah. They're doing really good. We put them in our uh, greenhouse. There's a few more coming on. Where is he? I saw him earlier. I saw him yesterday. There's one there. He's hiding. No, no, it's bigger. Cucumber? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> yeah. You have to be creative with what you've got, right? Exactly. We have lots of scrap wood. Where's his bottom is bad? I don't think we'll Isn't be here to enjoy that. But... No, I don't think it gets much bigger. I think it stays trapeze. And courgette, they always do so well. Something. It's growing a lot, and then there's a cherry. Oh, off to the left. It's definitely healthy. Oh. It's definitely it's doubled in size. We had peaches for the first time this year. How, how many years did it take? Um, no, but it's because um, the, the the issue with the peaches is that when it when there's frost in the early spring. I'm always weeding, always. I know, I know. <laughs> it's fighting a losing battle, I think. I know, and you, yeah. But um, it's when it freezes, like early April, then all the blossom dies, and then you don't get any peaches. And then we didn't have frost this year for the first time. So, and we had like three kilos or something, and we have a small, wow, a small one. So we made lots of um, Look at our little... confiture. Look at our little... They're talking. They're having a whole conversation. Ah, the farmer's coming. We've used the pizza ovens many times. We probably need to come back in a couple of years' time because Kate and Nathan have decided to take on the courageous project 
of renovating the 500 years old barn that was about to fall apart that's on their plot. So that was 300 years old, Five. you were told. But really? And a, a sheep, sheep farm originally. So this was to Level? space. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know where that is. And I think our land goes up to the edge, right? Yeah. So now they have access through here. But you get a feel. But it's supposed to be done by uh, November, I think. And then done means having the roof on? Insulated roof. But until then, I've got a very nice house next door. So. Exactly. It's nice to have a project and take time to do it. I have options, you know. Maybe it's a really expensive garage. It's so much mint. I don't know oh, I do too. And then at some point, it just explodes. Yeah. And then you can't even eat anymore. <laughs> If you want to see what their house looked like when they first viewed it and started the first works, I highly encourage you to go visit their YouTube channel. It has a few videos, but the first, the oldest video is of their first actual real life visit of the house and the first works they did to turn it into the gorgeous place that it is today. So I'll include a link in the description box so you can have a look. Thank you again so much for watching and please let me know what you loved most about this cozy little cottage and then I will see you in the next one.